We are uh, climbing up Wolf Creek Pass, March 3rd, and there is a tremendous amount of snow on the ground, as you can see. We have uh, some light snow coming down. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Winter Wonderland up here. And we're going to try to find uh, that 100 inches of snow, they can say. Looks like it's probably right next to us, but we're going to get out and actually take a look at it. We get to the top. This is the resort. We have arrived. Get your first looks like we are getting our first looks. Notice the huge wall next to us to the left. You can't really see what's going on, but it's a big snow wall. Woo. There she is, dude. Looks pretty gnarly. Quote unquote, most known Colorado. Certainly a ton. Look at this skin today, Nathan. Pretty psyched about it. We'll Looks like uh, snow has let up a little bit, but it man, could be a little... it's so crowded. Look at all the people on the chairlifts. Oh, man. I think I see one person. <laughs> all right, we just finished a fantastic day of skiing. It was the best skiing of my life. It was amazing. Yeah. Powder day, just untracked trees everywhere and really nicely spaced, nicely placed. Nathan's putting his skis in his locker for the night. As you can tell, look at the, the wall of snow in front of the car. Yeah, there's a lot of snow here. Showing up for our second ski day. Kind of getting a late start after a fun night at the uh, Hungry Logger. This is our uh, our place we stayed at. Pretty nice, a little rugged. Didn't hurt anybody. So, uh, yeah, it's a bluebird day. You are excited. Here we go. Alright, we're here. This is the kind of day we're looking at. Looking pretty sweet. Not too many more people here today than yesterday. Really pretty views. And uh, what is now? Okay. Good day, baby. came from Wolf Creek, we had a great day of skiing, and now we're in the San Luis Valley, and heading to the sand dunes and have a first look at the pretty peaks out in the distance, and they just go on forever. Very scenic. This is where we're heading to, sand dunes are below these peaks here, above the school bus. Good times. Right, Nathan? Right. There he is. There he is. What's up, dudes? How you doing? Alright, oh, take a picture. Oh, nice. Okay, more to come later. Alright, here we are entering the Great Sand Dunes National Park. And there are the sand dunes. You can see in the distance. Right under these beautiful peaks. A very peaceful time out here. Got the deer Just checking things out. A nice sunset. Sweet. Good times. All right. We'll probably be seeing you tomorrow morning. Hopefully, I have a warm night's sleep. That's all I gotta say. Looking good. Here we are in the dunes, making our way in. Nathan's got his camera engaged, and we're hitting the desert. It's a very uh, comfortable morning and very excellent night's sleep. It was the most comfortable night's sleep I've ever had, and that is a complete lie. It was, uh, was kind of rough. But uh, yeah, excited about the sand. Here we go. 
It's been weeks since water. We haven't eaten anything in probably three or four days. It's just a matter of surviving now. Nathan's on his last leg. <laughs> and to be honest, he's looking like a pretty good bike to eat. Just so, you can so your hands in my carcass. hungry. <laughs> All there is, it's just desert. Just miles, miles, miles of desert. <laughs> my mouth is full of sand. <laughs> we'll survive. We finally reached a place to understand the vastness and hugeness of the dunes. They go on for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. And then there's Nathan. I am but a speck of sand. You're not even a speck of sand. You're nothing. There's so much sand here it could bury you four billion times over. <laughs> Something else. Never seen anything like it. Something else. back. It's a good time in the dunes. Good time skiing. All good times come to an end. Only to have new times. Back in Boulder. See you later Nathan. See you later Nathan. He walks miles again over the humps into the